in the last episode. Why Guy surprised the castrated one with an early psychotic anxiety giving Caitlyn the first blood to start their snowball, and of course, upon seeing Papa playing super aggressive in the bot lane, the enemy jungle camped the hell out of our protagonist, that eventually activated Why Guy's one death power spike. Big mistake by the enemy team for awakening the Lord of Wydra's wrath as Why Guy laid waste upon his adversaries, displaying the ultimate good guy Why Guy play by sharing some of the kills to his friends, getting four death from below resets for a massive stonk. Papa together with the Blood Lord sieged the top lane, showing the power of Glacial Augment Stride Breaker once again as Why Guy throws Shinzao in place that led to his death in the hands of Lad that won them the game. As much as Papa loves Sentinel Pike's effects and sounds, I'm afraid it's just not the same without the White Hood. Sand Wraith White Chroma for the win baby. A good effort from Jinx for jinxing Y Guy's psychotic anxiety for an early classic comedy, but not good enough for her to survive the unmissable I'm not sure if that's a word harpoon of Wydra. Though Y Guy eliminated Jinx over and over again, they never managed to get a kill on Yumi. But now that our protagonist has his ultimate, Yumi on her ninth life runs to her turret, but that wouldn't stop Papa from finally securing a kill on the. Unfortunately, it seems that we miscalculated because Yumi is not on her ninth life at time. She's on her 8th. Well Papa gave his shutdown goal to her instead of giving it to anyone on her team so silver lining I guess. Now she's on her ninth. Your face after standing so close to the narrator while he speaks. Up up down down left right left right BA start. Trim Demir whispers this weird incantation as Y Guy pursues him, making him unkillable in the entirety of its duration escaping Papa's frozen grasps. A fed Shivana is spotted on their jungle, our protagonist responds with the hopes of finally taking her down, using Trindamir's incantation as a precaution, up up down down left right left right big. Well that was a little too fast ain't it? From dominating to dominated real quick, Shivana's burst is just too fast for Papa's middle finger's ability to press his stopwatch, all those meaningless deaths piled up on our protagonist, and as you can see, it took a toll on him. From being a one-sided game to anybody's game, a couple of throws thickens the plot.
that two times own late ultimate showing why guy struggling to earn tilt himself. Good thing his friends got his back that fight trimming the recently thickened plot. I don't know what part part of that made this dragoness so angry at him, but it shows that she's willing to do everything to eliminate the Lord of Wydra. Got her flash though. Am I missing something here? Since when did Ziggs become a well-designed champion? Now why guy is earning the fruits of his labor by taking care of Ziggs in the early game, slowly getting back to the game untilting himself, why guy's team decided to go for a risky play of rushing the Baron, that miraculously worked pretty well for them. Up up down down left right left right BA start. At long last, Papa -pa finishes the incantation without being bursted to death by Shivana, becoming unkillable for a short while allowing him to survive the explosion. Although why guy's gameplay declines as the game progresses, I'm just really happy to see that his friends are there to cover for him. Keep it up and I might spell it right. What a nice ultimate from Papa's good good friend Ziggs. You earned it. Jinx jinxing Papa's flash with her own avoiding psychotic anxiety, a grim reminder to our protagonist that he can't just use it without thinking, but a welcome reminder to us to like and subscribe for that classic comedy. Papa unplugging Trindemir's controller with his hook prohibiting him from entering immortality. Nice. Papa's excellent early game could have ended the game at 25 minutes, but his failure to transition his early lead to the mid to late game prolonged this game allowing us to stretch this episode to 10 minutes. A silver lining I guess? Well,